Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, so problem is single number. Uh, in this problem, we'll be given an array uh, of not integers, and we have to uh, and every element will appear twice, except for one. We have to find that single number. Single one. So this should be linear runtime and uh, constant extra space that we will see. Uh, but basically, what we need to do is that will be given an array in which each element will be occurring twice. But there will be one element which will be only occurring once. That one element which is occurring once we need to return. So see, here uh, we have this now. Two is two times. One is also two times, but four is only one time. So four will we will be returning four will be our output, right? So this is the problem. So we'll be discussing multiple approaches here. Let's start. So first, see, we need to do what? We need to return that number which is only occurring once. That is four. So see, that is very simple. Like the first approach which directly comes into mind is just we can use a hash map, right? We can have a hash map. And we will be showing count of each number. So four is initially we will have its count as one. Then we will go to this one. We will have its count as one. Then we will go to this two. We will have its count as initially one. Then we again go to one. One is already in the hash map, so we will increase its count and it will become two. Then we go to two. Two is also in the hash map, so we will increase its count. So we have traversed this entire array, and after that, uh, over here, uh, the, that element which has count one. This is the element, and this is the count. So that element with count one will be our output. So four will be the output. So this is one approach. Now over here, uh, see, we will be doing single traversal. So traversal time complexity is linear, O of n. But space we are using extra, extra space we are using. So for that, O of n will be the space, and time will be also O of n. So over here, but they have told us, they have told us that uh, we must implement a solution with linear runtime complexity, and only we have to use extra constant extra space. Right. So this will not work. Right. This will not work. Let's discuss one more approach. One more approach similar to this only. We have four one two one two right four one two one two. Now ideally, ideally each element should be how many times? Two times. That is we have four. What all unique elements we have? We have four one and two. So ideally, uh, four. Should also be two times. One should also be two times, and two also should be two times. But what is there is, we have four one time, then one two, and then one and two. So this is we have. What we can do is that see, we can get the unique elements. These are the unique elements in this array. So, ideally, they all these all unique elements will be two two times. So ideally, this should be the sum of the array. This should be the sum, na. That is whatever unique elements we have, we will sum them four one plus two, and we will multiply it with two because two times four will be there, two times one and two times two. So this will come out to be uh, four seven into two fourteen. This should be the ideal sum. But what is there is this. That is four plus one plus this thing. Now this will be what five, seven, eight, and ten. Uh, Now see if you subtract these, the ideal sum with the current sum, like which is there, what will happen? See four. What will happen? You will get the single element. That's how. See four plus four is there. Then plus one plus one is there. Plus two plus two is there. Now minus four, minus one, then minus two, 
minus 1 and minus 2. So this 4 will cancel with this, this 1 with this, this 1 with this, and this 2 with this 2, and this with this. So at last you will get this 4, which is your missing, which is your missing element. That is here we have one less 4. Na? So that was your missing element, which you will get by this way. So in this approach, what we can do is we can take a set and in that set we can store all the unique elements and like we can add all these elements in the set so set will have obviously the unique elements that's the property of set right so when set will have all the unique elements what we can do is we can calculate the sum of those elements and multiply that with two so that will be the unique sum uh, that will be the ideal sum that is this one and then we can subtract this sum from that sum and we will get the extra element that is 4 uh, that the missing element this is also one approach and here also time complexity will be linear only but space will also be o of n because we are taking the set we are taking the set right one approach uh, now let's see let's reduce the space now so we saw two approaches in which we were using extra space now reduce let's reduce space so we have 4 1 2 1 2 4 1 2 1 2 now we have seen two approaches time is o of n but space is the problem space is o of n that's space we have to reduce so see we have to return that element which is only occurring one which is only occurring one so if you sort this array we have this 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, which will be there after sorting this array. Right. So then we can just compare the edges and element. Right. So like we can compare whether this 1 has a next 1 or not. Whether this 2 has next 2 or not. Whether So when you will come here, this will not have any uh other like you can check it compare with this like this right so that way you can know that okay four is not so for this one there is this one for this two there is this two but for this four there is no other four so that we can do that is another approach so for that now since we are doing sorting so time complexity will be o of n log n n log n and we will not use any extra data structure so that will space will be oh constant now space will be constant so this is one approach but here now we have improved the space but again we are compromising on time because n log n earlier it was o of n so we have to think of something else that over here this becomes o of n this becomes o of n right so let's see that now how we can know that we can use that in this problem see whenever you have to find a missing duplicate na? missing number or missing duplicate you can use zor zor for that zor operator that is how see we will do zor of all these numbers we will traverse and we will do zor of all these numbers so what will happen see when we will do zor na so uh, let's uh, take these together so one zor one uh, we can shift them right so two zor two and then zor four so one zor one one zor one means we will have this number zero zero one and this one is also 0, 0, 0, 1. So all both the bits are same. So when the bits are same, so we will get all this 0, 0, 0, 0. Right? When the bits are same, we get 0, 0. So this is what? This evaluates to what? 0 only. Right? And then we have this 2s or 2. So this evaluate, see 2s or 2 also, it will be what? 0, 0, 1, 0. And 0, 0, 1, 0. So this will be 32 bits, right? Uh, whatever the number is according to that so 0010 
so these all also same so this will be 0 0 0 like we are doing zor so when the bits are same it comes out to be 0 and when bits are different it's uh, 1 right so then now this is also 0 and then this is 4 so that what we have we have 0 what we are ha uh, have we have we have 0 or 0 or this 0 or 0 or 4 so 0 or 0 again it will be 0 only and 4 so see 0 0 0 0 and 4 is what 0 1 0 0 so what will happen this is same bit so 0 will come same 0 will come these are different these are different right so 1 will come and then this 0 happens. so again this 4 comes so in this way this was a single element right this was a single element there was no duplicate of this element and just all were duplicates so those will cancel out like as in they will be their zor will be zero so at last we'll have zor with the single element so then we will get the single element i hope you understood this approach let's see the code for this so the code is really simple what we are doing is we have taken this answer initially zero and uh, we are going through each element in the uh, vector and we're just zor we are doing zor and then at last we will have c what we were doing we we're just doing zor na, of each element and uh, at last we had this zero zor four and then we got four so we are return the answer at the end that is our output so if you submit this it's getting accepted and uh, time complexity see we are doing senior, uh, linger, uh, see, uh, linear traversal so it will be o of n and we are not using any extra space see we are just taking this only uh, variable so it will be o of 1 which is constant so i hope you understood the problem and the approach let me know in the comments if you have any doubt and if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you